I'm Matt Willis, Public Health Officer from Marin County with an update for November 4th. You may have seen recent headlines about the fentanyl crisis and the acceleration of deaths from overdoses and accidental poisonings. I'm going to shift gears today a little bit and briefly talk about what this means for us in Marin, how it connects to the pandemic, and invite you to join us in addressing this crisis. I see this being as related to the pandemic in two ways. The first is that the disruption of the past two years has taken a heavy toll in almost every measurable way, including lost lives, livelihoods, stress, and social isolation, which has led to what's being called a mental health crisis, including increases in substance use and overdose. And second, on a more positive note, the pandemic taught us a lot about how to tackle big problems together. In Marin, we gained some confidence in what we can accomplish when we have a clear view of the problem we're facing and we take action together. I'm gonna to provide some data to help us gain a shared understanding of the overdose epidemic, and then outline some of the tools we can use to flatten that curve. Every week in Marin, we lose another resident to an accidental drug overdose, making it the leading cause of accidental death locally. Among those under age 60, about 10 times more people died from overdoses than from COVID-19 last year. And we're on track, unfortunately, for 2022 to set another annual record for overdose deaths. Those are sobering numbers. And to call this a crisis is not an exaggeration. Most of those deaths are fentanyl related. And this is driving the upswing over the past few years. Fentanyl is dangerous because as a very powerful opioid, it can make people unconscious and then suppress breathing. Fortunately, we do have tools to fight this crisis. The most important strategies are first, education and awareness. Just knowing that the drug supply has essentially been poisoned with fentanyl so that what might have been seen as normal experimentation in the past could now have lethal consequences is important. Second is to make sure that Narcan, the nasal spray that can immediately reverse the effects of an overdose, is widely available. And third is to make sure that people who need it are tied to mental health support and have access to proven therapies. Obviously, these three pillars, awareness of the risks, overdose reversals with Narcan, and addressing the mental health issues that drive substance use will each require major strategic action and resources. It is a complex problem that will require community-wide solutions, much like COVID. So to that end, I'm inviting any concerned community members to join us at the MVC Suites in San Rafael at the Marin County Overdose Prevention Summit. This event is hosted by Marin County Public Health and Rx Safe Marin, our Community Opioid Safety Coalition. Leadership from schools, healthcare, mental health and substance use, law enforcement, public health, and concerned community members who have been impacted will be coming together to coordinate our response and set shared strategies for 2023. Our first goal is obviously to reverse the upward trend. So we'll see fewer deaths next year than last year. But our ultimate goal is zero preventable overdoses. We were strongest in our COVID response when we recognized we all had a role to play. And those are lessons we'll need to carry into new challenges, including the fentanyl crisis. So please join us and sign up the link provided in today's status update. Thank you for doing your part.